Hey guys, my name is Josh Plotner and this is how to write for flute in two minutes. Flute is a concert instrument, which means you don't have to worry about transposition. The range of the flute is from low B to high C. However, student flutes as well as some older professional flutes will only go down to C. Advanced players will be able to go up to high D or even higher. One of the most famous flute concertos actually ends on a high F. Probably don't write above C though. The range of the flute is essentially a giant crescendo from the bottom to the top, meaning that the bottom is pianissimo and the top is fortissimo. Advanced players can make the bottom sound maybe mezzo forte and the top also maybe mezzo forte, but it's extremely hard and it's not wise to write assuming that a player will be able to perform at other dynamics. I cannot stress this point enough because it's the most common mistake. Low and loud does not exist. High and super soft does not exist. If you write a D fortissimo, that's like writing this note. So unless you know exactly what you're doing, do not write below a first octave G. Flutists are often great at fast articulation. Double tonguing, triple tonguing, no problem. Like most woodwinds, bending the pitch down is easy, but bending the pitch up is a little bit harder. Flute is extremely air inefficient. It uses literally as much air as a tuba, meaning if you write really long phrases for it, you're probably not gonna get that great results. Here's some special effects, and as always, be sure you know the player you're writing for. Flutter tongue. Blowing up over the overtones while playing a tremolo. Steve Kujala calls this fretless flute technique. Growling. Beatboxing. The thunk sound. Tapping the keys. You can make some cool noises with the head joint too. So that's it. If you like this video, make sure to check out all of my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon, which is a voluntary subscription service which helps artists like me create things like this for free and keep them online forever so that everyone can learn how to write for all the woodwinds. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.